Chapter Nine of Army Life in a Black Regiment. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by F. N. H. Army Life in a Black Regiment by Thomas Wentworth Higginson. Chapter Nine: Negro Spirituals. The war brought to some of us, besides its direct experiences, many a strange fulfilment of dreams of other days. For instance, the present writer had been a faithful student of Scottish ballads, and had always envied Sir Walter the delight of tracing them out amid their own heather and of writing them down piecemeal from the lips of aged crones. It was a strange enjoyment, therefore, to be suddenly brought into the midst of a kindred world of unwritten songs. As simple and indigenous as the border minstrelsy, more uniformly plaintive, almost always more quaint, and often as essentially poetic. The interest was rather increased by the fact that I had for many years heard of this class of songs under the name of Negro spirituals, and had even heard some of them sung by friends from South Carolina. I could now gather on their own soil these strange plants, which I had before seen as in museums alone. True, the individual songs rarely coincided, but there was a line here, a chorus there, just enough to fix the class. But this was unmistakable. It was not strange that they differed, for the range seemed almost endless, and South Carolina, Georgia, and Florida seemed to have nothing but the generic character in common, until all were mingled into a united stock of camp melodies. Often in the starlit evening, I have returned from some lonely ride by the swift river. Or on the plover haunted barrens, and entering the camp, have silently approached some glimmering fire, round which the dusky figures moved in the rhythmical barbaric dance the negroes call a shout, chanting often harshly, but always in the most perfect time with some monotonous refrain. Writing down in the darkness as best I could, perhaps with my hand in the safe covert of my pocket, the words of the song, I have afterwards carried it to my tent. Like some captured bird or insect, and then, after examination, put it by, or summoning one of the men at some period of leisure, Corbett Rubble Sutton, for instance, whose eye and memory held all the details of a song as if it were a ford or a forest, I have completed the new specimen by supplying the absent parts. The music I could only retain by ear, and though the most common strains were often repeated enough to fix the impression, there were others that occurred only once or twice. The words will be here given as nearly as possible in the original dialect, and if the spelling seems sometimes inconsistent or the misspelling insufficient, it is because I could get no nearer. I wish to avoid what seems to me the only error of Lowell's big low papers in respect to dialect: the occasional use of an extreme misspelling, which merely confuses the eye without taking us any closer to the peculiarity of the sound. The favourite song sung in camp was the following. Sung with no accompaniment, but the measured clapping of hands and the chatter of many feet, it was sung perhaps twice as often as any other. This was partly due to the fact that it properly consisted of a chorus alone, with which the verses of other songs might be combined at random. One, hold your light. Hold your light, brother Robert. Hold your light. Hold your light on Canaan's shore. What make old Satan for follow me so? Satan ain't got nothin' to do with me. Hold your light, hold your light, hold your light on Canaan's shore. This would be sung for half an hour at a time, perhaps each person present being named in turn. It seemed the simplest primitive type of spiritual. The next in popularity was almost as elementary, and like this named successively each one of the circle. It was, however, much more resounding and convivial in its music. Two, bound to go. Jordan River, I'm bound to go, bound to go, bound to go. Jordan River, I'm bound to go, and bid 'em fare ye well. My brother Robert, I'm bound to go, bound to go. My sister Lucy, I'm bound to go, bound to go. Sometimes it was tink 'em, think them, fare ye well. The ye was so detached. That I thought at first it was very or very well. Another picturesque song, which seemed immensely popular, was at first very bewildering to me. 
I could make out the first words of the chorus, and called it the Roman Da, being reminded of some romantic song which I had formerly heard. That association quite fell in with the Orientalism of the new tent life. 3. Room in there. Oh, my mother is gone, my mother is gone, my mother is gone into heaven, my lord. I can't stay behind. There's room in da, room in da, room in da, in de heaven, my lord. I can't stay behind, can't stay behind, my dear. I can't stay behind. Oh, my father is gone. Oh, de angels are gone. Oh, I's been on de road, I's been on de road, I's been on de road into heaven, my lord. I can't stay behind. O oh, room in dare, room in dare, room in dare in de heaven, my lord. I can't stay behind. By this time every man within hearing from oldest to youngest would be wriggling and shuffling, as if through some magic piper's bewitchment, for even those who at first affected contemptuous indifference would be drawn into the vortex ere long. Next to these in popularity ranked a class of songs belonging emphatically to the church militant, and available for camp purposes with very little strain upon their symbolism. This, for instance, had a true companion in arms heartiness about it, not impaired by the feminine invocation at the end. 4. Hail Mary One more valiant soldier here, one more valiant soldier here, one more valiant soldier here, to help me bear de cross. O oh, hail Mary, hail, hail Mary, hail. Hail Mary, hail, to help me bear de cross. I fancied that the original reading might have been soul instead of soldier, with some other syllable inserted to fill out the meter, and that the Hail Mary might denote a Roman Catholic origin, as I had several men from St. Augustine who held in a dim way to that faith. It was a very ringing song, though not so grandly jubilant as the next, which was really impressive as the singers peeled it out when marching or rowing or embarking. 5. My Army Cross Over My Army Cross Over My Army Cross Over O Pharaoh's Army Drowned My Army Cross Over We'll cross de mighty river My Army Cross Over We'll cross de river Jordan My Army Cross Over We'll cross de danger water My Army Cross Over We'll cross de mighty Mayo, my army cross over, thrice. O Pharaoh's army drowned, my army cross over. I could get no explanation of the mighty Mayo, except that one of the old men thought it meant the river of death. Perhaps it is an African word in the Cameroon dialect. Mawa signifies to die. The next also has a military ring about it, and the first line is well matched by the music. The rest is a conglomerate, and one or two lines show a more northern origin. Dunn is a Virginia sibboleth, quite distinct from the bean which replaces it in South Carolina. Yet one of their best choruses, without any fixed words, was De Bell Dunn Ringing, for which in proper South Carolina dialect would be substituted De Bell Binna Ringing. This refrain may have gone south with our army. 6. Ride in, kind saviour. Ride in, kind saviour. No man can hinder me. O oh, Jesus is a mighty man. No man. We're marching through Virginia fields. No man. O oh, Satan is a busy man. No man. And he has his sword and shield. No man. O oh, old Sisesh, done come and gone. No man can hinder me. Sometimes they substituted binder me which was more spicy to the ear, and more in keeping with the usual head-over-heels arrangement of their pronouns. Almost all of their songs were thoroughly religious in their tone, however quaint then the expression, and were in a minor key, both as to words and music. The attitude is always the same, and, as a commentary on life of the race, is infinitely pathetic. Nothing but patience for this life, nothing but triumph in the next. Sometimes the present predominates, sometimes the future, but the combination is always implied. In the following, for instance, we hear simply the patience. 7. This world almost done. Brother, keep your lamp trimming and a-burning. Keep your lamp trimming and a-burning. Keep your lamp trimming and a-burning. 
for dis world most done, so keep your lamp. Dis world most done. But in the next, the final reward of patience is proclaimed as plaintively. 8. I want to go home. There's no rain to wet you. Oh, yes, I want to go home. There's no sun to burn you. Oh, yes, I want to go home. Oh, push along, believers. Oh, yes. There's no hard trials. Oh, yes. There's no whips a cracking. Oh, yes. My brother on de wayside. Oh, yes. Oh, push along, my brother. Oh, yes. Where there's no stormy weather. Oh, yes. There's no tribulation. Oh, yes. And the next was a boat song, and timed well with the tug of the oar. 9. THE COMING DAY I want to go to Canaan. I want to go to Canaan. I want to go to Canaan, to meet em at de coming day. Oh, remember, let me go to Canaan, thrice, to meet em. Oh, brother, let me go to Canaan, thrice, to meet em. Oh, brother, you, oh, remember, to meet em at de coming day. The following begins with a startling affirmation. Yet the last line quite outdoes the first. This, too, was a capital boat song. 10. One more river. O oh, Jordan Bank was a great old bank. There ain't but one more river to cross. We have some valiant soldier here. There ain't. O oh, Jordan's stream will never run dry. There ain't. There's a hill on my left, and he catch on my right. There ain't but one more river to cross. I could get no explanation for this last riddle, except dat mean if you go on de left, go to struction, and if you go on de right, go to God for sure. In other, more spiritual conflict is implied, as in this next. 11. O dying lamb. I wants to go where Moses trod, O de dying lamb, for Moses gone to de promised land, O de dying lamb, to drink from springs that never run dry, O. Oh. Cry, O, oh, my Lord, O, oh. before I'll stay in hell one day, O. Oh. I'm in hopes to pray my sins away, O. Oh. Cry, O, oh, my Lord, O. Oh. Brother Moses promised for be da too, O. Oh. To drink from streams that never run dry, O oh, de dying lamb. In the next, the conflict is at its height, and the lurid imagery of the apocalypse is brought to bear. This book, with the books of Moses, constituted their Bible. All that lay between, even the narratives of the life of Jesus, they hardly cared to read or to hear. 12. Down in the Valley We'll run and never tire. We'll run and never tire. We'll run and never tire. Jesus sets poor sinners free, way down in the valley. Who will rise and go with me? You've heard talk of Jesus, who set poor sinners free. De lightning and de flashing. De lightning and de flashing. De lightning and de flashing. Jesus set poor sinners free. I can't stand the fire, thrice. Jesus set poor sinners free. De green trees are flaming, thrice. Jesus set poor sinners free. Way down in de valley. Who will rise and go with me? You've heard talk of Jesus, who set poor sinners free. De Valley and De Lonesome Valley were familiar words in their religious experience. To descend into that region implied the same process with the anxious seat of the camp meeting. When a young girl was supposed to enter it, she bound a handkerchief by a peculiar knot over her head and made it a point of honour not to change a single garment till the day of her baptism so that she was sure of being in physical readiness for the cleansing rite, whatever her spiritual mood might be. More than once in noticing a damsel thus mystically kerchiefed, I have asked some dusky attendant its meaning, and have received the unfailing answer, framed with their usual indifference to the genders of pronouns, He in de lonesome valley, sir. The next gives the same dramatic conflict, while its detached and impersonal refrain give it strikingly the character of the Scotch and Scandinavian ballads. 13. Cry holy. Cry holy, holy. Look at de people dat is born of God. And I run down de valley, and I run down to pray. Says, 
Look at de people dat is born of God. When I get dar, cap and Satan was dar. Says look at. Says young man, young man, there's no use for pray. Says look at. For Jesus is dead, and God gone away. Says look at. And I made him out a liar, and I went my way. Says look at. Sing holy, holy. O oh, Mary was a woman, and he had a one son, says look at. And de Jews and de Romans had him hung, says look at. Cry holy, holy. And I tell you, sinner, you had better had pray, says look at. For hell is a dark and dismal place, says look at. And I tell you, sinner, and I wouldn't go da, says look at. Cry holy, holy. Here is an infinitely quaint description of the length of the heavenly road. 14. O'er the crossing. Vendors, my old mother, been a wagging at de hill so long. It's about time she'll cross over. Get home, bimeby. Keep praying, I do believe. We're a long time wagging o'er de crossing. Keep praying, I do believe. We'll get home to heaven, bimeby. Hear dat mournful thunder. Roll from door to door, calling home God's children. Get home, Bimeby. Little chillin, I do believe, we're a long time. Little chillin, I do believe, we'll get home. See dat fork lightning flash from tree to tree, calling home God's chillin. Get home, Bimby. True believer, I do believe, we're a long time. O oh, brothers, I do believe. We'll get home to heaven, Bimby. One of the most singular pictures of future joys, and with fine flavour of hospitality about it, was this. 15. Walk em easy. Oh, walk em easy round de heaven. Walk em easy round de heaven. Walk em easy round de heaven. That all de people may join de band. Walk em easy round de heaven, thrice. Oh, shout glory till em join dat band. The chorus was usually the greater part of the song, and often came in paradoxically thus. 16. O oh, yes, Lord. O oh, must I be like de foolish mans? O oh, yes, Lord. We'll build de house on de sandy hill. O oh, yes, Lord. I'll build my house on Zion hill. O oh, yes, Lord. No wind nor rain can blow me down. O oh, yes, Lord. The next is very graceful and lyrical with more variety of rhythm than usual. 17. Bow low, Mary. Bow low, Mary, bow low, Martha, for Jesus come and lock de door, and carry de keys away. Sail, sail over yonder, and view de promised land, for Jesus come. Weep, O Mary, bow low, Martha, for Jesus come. Sail, sail, my true believer, sail, sail over yonder. Mary bow low, Martha bow low, for Jesus come and lock de door, and carry de keys away. But all of the spirituals, that which surprised me the most, I think, perhaps because it was that in which external nature furnished the images most directly, was this. With all my experience of their ideal ways of speech, I was startled when I came on such a flower of poetry in that dark soil. 18. I know moon rise. I know moon rise, I know star rise, lay dis body down. I walk in de moonlight, I walk in de starlight, to lay dis body down. I walk in de graveyard, I walk through de graveyard, to lay dis body down. I'll lie in de grave, and stretch out my arms, lay dis body down. I go to de judgment, in de evening of de day, when I lay dis body down. And my soul, and your soul, will meet in de day, when I lay dis body down. I'll lie in de grave, and stretch out my arms. Never it seems to me, since man first lived and suffered, was his infinite longing for peace uttered more plaintively than in that line. The next one is of the wildest and most striking of the whole series. There is a mystical effect, and a passionate striving throughout the whole. The scriptural struggle between Jacob and the angel, which is only dimly expressed in the words, seems all uttered in the music. 
I think it impressed my imagination more powerfully than any of the other songs. 19. Wrestling Jacob O oh, wrestling Jacob, Jacob, days are breaking, I will not let thee go. O oh, wrestling Jacob, Jacob, days are breaking, he will not let me go. O oh, I hold my brother with a trembling hand, I would not let him go. I hold my sister with a trembling hand, I would not let her go. O oh, Jacob do hang from a trembling limb, he would not let him go. O oh, Jacob do hang from a trembling limb, de Lord will bless my soul. O oh, wrestling Jacob, Jacob. Of occasional hymns, properly so called, I notice but one, a funeral hymn for an infant, which is sung plaintively over and over without variety of words. 20. The Baby Gone Home De little baby gone home, de little baby gone home, de little baby gone along, for to climb up Jacob's ladder. And I wish I'd been da, I wish I'd been da, I wish I'd been da, my lord, for to climb up Jacob's ladder. Still simpler is this, which is yet quite sweet and touching. 21. Jesus with us. He have been with us, Jesus. He still with us, Jesus. He still with us, Jesus. Be with us to the end. The next seemed to be a favourite about Christmas time, when mediations on de rolling year were frequent among them. 22. Lord, remember me. O oh, do, Lord, remember me. O oh, do, Lord, remember me. O oh, do remember me, until the year roll around. Do, Lord, remember me. If you want to die like Jesus died, lay in de grave, you would fold your arms and close your eyes, and die with a free good will. For death is a simple ting, and he go from door to door, and he knock down some, and he cripple op some, and he leave some here to pray. O oh, do, Lord, remember me. O oh, do, Lord, remember me. My old father's gone till de year roll round. Do, Lord, remember me. The next was sung in such an operatic and rollicking way that it was quite hard to fancy it a religious performance, which, however, it was. I heard it but once. 23. Early in the morning. I met little Rosa early in de morning. O oh, Jerusalem, early in de morning. And I ax her, how do you do, my daughter? O oh, Jerusalem, early in de morning. I meet my mother early in de morning. O oh, Jerusalem. And I ax her, how do you do, my mother? O oh, Jerusalem. I meet my brother Robert early in de morning. O oh, Jerusalem. And I ax him, how do you do, my sonny? O oh, Jerusalem. I meet Titty Wessa in the morning, O oh, Jerusalem. And I ax her, how do you do, my daughter? O oh, Jerusalem. Titta Wissa means Sister Louisa. In songs of this class the name of every person present successively appears. Their best marching song, the one which was invaluable to lift their feet along as they expressed it, was the following. There was a kind of spring and lil to it, quite indescribable by words. 24. Go in the wilderness. Jesus call you, go in the wilderness. Go in the wilderness, go in the wilderness. Jesus call you, go in the wilderness, to wait upon de Lord. Go wait upon de Lord. Go wait upon de Lord. Go wait upon de Lord, my God. He take away de sins of de world. Jesus awaiting, go in de wilderness. Go. All dem chillen, go in de wilderness, to wait upon de Lord. The next one was one of those which I had heard in boyish days brought north from Charleston. But the chorus alone was identical. The words were mainly different, and those here given are quaint enough. 25. Blow your trumpet, Gabriel. Oh, blow your trumpet, Gabriel. Blow your trumpet louder. And I want dat trumpet to blow me home to my new Jerusalem. De prettiest ting dat ever I done was to serve de Lord when I was young. So blow your trumpet, Gabrielle. O oh, Satan is a liar, and he conjure too, and if you don't mind, he'll conjure you. So blow your trumpet, Gabrielle. 
Oh, I was lost in de wilderness. King Jesus, hand me de candle down. So blow your trumpet, Gabrielle. The following contains one of those odd transformations of proper names with which their scriptural citations were often enriched. It rivals their text. Paul may plant and may polish with water, which I have elsewhere quoted, and in which the saint at Apollos would hardly have recognized himself. 26. In the morning. In de morning. In de morning. Chillin', yes, my lord. Don't you hear de trumpet sound? If I had a died when I was young, I never would had de race for run. Don't you hear de trumpet sound? O oh, Sam and Peter was fishing in de sea, and dey drop de net and follow my lord. Don't you hear de trumpet sound? Dere's a silver spade for to dig my grave, and a golden chain for to let me down. Don't you hear de trumpet sound? In de morning, in de morning. Chillin', yes, my lord. Don't you hear de trumpet sound? These golden and silver fancies remind me of one of King of Spain's daughters in Mother Goose, and the golden apple and the silver pear, which are doubtless themselves but the vestiges of some simple early composition like this. The next has a humbler and more domestic style of fancy. 27. Fare ye well. My true believers, fare ye well. Fare ye well. Fare ye well. Fare ye well by de grace of God, for I'm going home. Massa Jesus, give me a little broom, for to sweep my heart clean, and I will try, by de grace of God, to win my way home. Among the songs not available for marching, but requiring concentrated enthusiasm of the camp, was The Ship of Zion, of which they had three wholly distinct versions, all quite exuberant and tumultuous. 28. The Ship of Zion Come along, come along, and let us go home. O oh, glory, hallelujah. Dis de old ship of Zion. Hallelu, hallelu. Dis de old ship of Zion. Hallelujah. She has landed many a thousand. She can land as many more. O oh, glory, hallelujah. Do you think she will be able for to take us all home? O oh, glory, hallelujah. You can tell em I'm a coming. Hallelu, hallelu. You can tell em I'm a coming. Hallelujah. Come along. Come along. 29. The Ship of Zion. Second Version. Dis de good old ship of Zion. Dis de good old ship of Zion. Dis de good old ship of Zion. And she's making for de promised land. She hab angels for de sailors. And she's. And how you know de angels. And she's. Good Lord, shall I be one? And she's. That ship is out a sailing, 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 and she's. She's a sailing mighty steady, 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 and she's. She'll neither reel nor totter, 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 and she's. She's a sailing away, cold Jordan, 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 and she's. King Jesus is de captain, 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 and she's making for de promised land. 30. The Ship of Zion, Third Version De gospel ship is sailing, Hosan, San. O Jesus is de captain, Hosan, San. De angels are de sailors, Hosan, San. O is your bundle ready, Hosan, San. O have you got your ticket, Hosan, San. This abbreviated chorus is given with unspeakable unction. The three just given are modifications of an old camp meeting melody, and the same may be true of the three following, although I cannot find them in the Methodist hymn books. Each, however, has its characteristic modifications, which make it well worth giving. In the second verse of this next, for instance, Saviour evidently has become soldier. 31. Sweet Music Sweet music in heaven, just beginning for to roll. Don't you love God? Glory, hallelujah. Yes, late I heard my soldier say, Come, heavy soul, I am de way. Don't you love God? Glory, hallelujah. I'll go and tell to sinners round What a saviour I have found. Don't you love God? Glory, hallelujah. 
My grief, my burden long has been, because I was not cease from sin. Don't you love God? Glory, hallelujah. 32. Good News O oh, good news, O oh, good news, De angels brought de tidings down, Just coming from de throne. As grief from out my soul shall fly, Just coming from de throne. I'll shout salvation when I die, Good news, O oh, good news, Just coming from de throne. Lord, I want to go to heaven when I die, Good news, O oh, good news. De white folks call us a noisy crew, Good news, O oh, good news, but dis I know, we are happy too, just coming from de throne. 33. The Heavenly Road You may talk of my name as much as you please, and carry my name abroad, but I really do believe I'm a child of God, as I walk in de heavenly road. Oh, won't you go with me, thrice, for to keep our garments clean? Oh, Satan is a mighty busy old man, and roll rocks in my way. But Jesus is my bosom friend, and roll em out of de way. Oh, won't you go with me, thrice, for to keep our garments clean? Come, my brother, if you never did pray, I hope you may pray to-night. For I really believe in a child of God, as I walk in de heavenly road. Oh, won't you? Some of the songs had played an historic part during the war, for singing the next, for instance, the Negroes had been put in jail in Georgetown, S.C., at the outbreak of the rebellion. We'll soon be free was too dangerous an assertion, and though the chant was an old one, it was no doubt sung with redoubled emphasis during the new events. De Lord will call us home was evidently thought to be a symbolic verse, for as a drummer boy explained to me, showing all his white teeth as he sat in the moonlight by the door of my tent, they tink de Lord mean for say de Yankees. 34. We'll soon be free. We'll soon be free. We'll soon be free. We'll soon be free. When de Lord will call us home. My brother, how long? My brother, how long? My brother, how long? For we done suffering here. It won't be long, thrice. For de Lord will call us home. We'll walk de miry road, thrice. Where pleasure never dies. We'll walk de golden street thrice where pleasure never dies my brother how long thrice for we done suffering here we'll soon be free thrice when jesus sets me free we'll fight for liberty thrice when de lord will call us home the suspicion in this case was unfounded but they had another song to which the rebellion had actually given rise this was composed by nobody knew whom though it was the most recent doubtless of all these spirituals, and had been sung in secret to avoid detection. It is certainly plaintive enough. The peck of corn and the pint of salt were slavery's rations. 35. Many thousand go. No more peck o' corn for me. No more, no more. No more peck o' corn for me. Many thousand go. No more driver's lash for me, twice. No more. No more pint a salt for me, twice, no more. No more hundred lash for me, twice, no more. No more mistress call for me, no more, no more. No more mistress call for me, many thousand go. Even of this last composition, however, we have only an approximate date, and know nothing of the mode of composition. Alan Ramsey says of the Scotch songs, that no matter who made them, they were soon attributed to the minister of the parish whence they sprang. And I always wondered about these, whether they had a conscious and definite origin in some leading mind, or whether they grew by gradual accretion in an almost unconscious way. On this point I could get no information, though I asked many questions, until at last one day when I was being rowed across the Beaufort to Ladies Island, I found myself with delight on the actual trail of a song. One of the oarsmen, a brisk young fellow, not a soldier, on being asked for his theory of the matter, dropped out a coy confession. Some good spirituals, he said, are just out of curiosity. I've been a razor sing myself once. My dream was fulfilled, and I had traced out not the poem alone, but the poet. 
I implored him to proceed. Once we boys, he said, went for totes some rice, and de nigger driver he keep a callin' on us, and I say, oh, de old nigger driver. Then another said, fust thing my mammy told me was nothin' so bad as nigger driver. Then I made a sing, just put in a word, and then another word. Then he began singing, and the men, after listening a moment, joined in the chorus, as if it were a, an old acquaintance, though they evidently had never heard it before. I saw how easily the new sing took root among them. 36. THE DRIVER O oh, de old nigger driver, O oh, gwine away, Fusting my mamma tell me, O oh, gwine away, Tell me bout de nigger driver, O oh, gwine away, Nigger driver second devil, O oh, gwine away, Best ting for de, he driver, O oh, gwine away, Knock he down and spoil de labour, O oh, gwine away. It will be observed that although this song is quite secular in its character, yet its author called it a spiritual. I heard but two songs among them at any time to which they would not, perhaps, have given this generic name. One of these consisted simply in the endless repetition, and the manner of certain college songs, of the mysterious line, Rainfall and wet Becky Lawton. But who Becky Lawton was, and why she should or should not be wet, and whether the dryness was a reward or a penalty, none could say. I got the impression that in either case the event was posthumous, and that there was some tradition of grass not growing over the grave of a sinner, but even this was vague, and all else vaguer. The other song I heard but once, on a morning when a squad of men came in from picket duty, and chanted it in the most rousing way. It had been a stormy and comfortless night, and the picket station was very exposed. It still rained in the morning when I strolled to the edge of the camp, looking out for the men, and wondering how they had stood it. Presently they came striding along the road at a great pace, with their shining rubber blankets worn as cloaks around them, the rain streaming from these and from their equally shining faces, which were almost all upon the broad grin as they peeled out this remarkable ditty. Hangman Johnny Oh, they call me Hangman Johnny. Oh, ho, oh, ho but I never hang nobody. Oh, hang, boys, hang. Oh, they call me Hangman Johnny. Oh, ho, oh, ho, but we'll all hang together. Oh, hang, boys, hang. My presence apparently checked the performance of another verse, beginning, De Buckra List for Money, apparently in reference to the controversy about the pay question, then just beginning, and to the more mercenary aims they attributed to the white soldiers. But Hangman Johnny remained always a myth as inscrutable as Becky Lawton. As they learned all their songs by ear, they often strayed into wholly new versions, which sometimes became popular and entirely banished the others. This was amusingly the case, for instance, with one phrase in the popular camp song of Marching Along, which was entirely new to them until our quartermaster taught it to them at my request. The words, Gird on the armour, were to them a stumbling block, and no wonder until some ingenious ear substituted Guide on de Army, which was at once accepted and became universal. Will Guide on de Army and be marching along is now the established version on the Sea Islands. These quaint religious songs were to the men more than a source of relaxation. They were a stimulus to courage and a tie to heaven. I never overheard in camp a profane or vulgar song, with the trifling exceptions given, all had a religious motive, while the most secular melody could not have been more exciting. A few youths from Savannah, who were comparatively men of the world, had learned some of the Ethiopian minstrel ditties imported from the north. These took no hold upon the mass, and on the other hand they sang reluctantly, even on Sunday, the long and short meters of the hymn-books, always gladly yielding to the more potent excitement of their own spirituals. But these they could sing themselves, as had their fathers before them, out of the contemplation of their own low estate, into the sublime scenery of the apocalypse. I remember that this minor-keyed pathos used to seem to me almost too sad to dwell upon, while slavery seemed destined to last for generations. But now that their patience had had its perfect work, history cannot afford to lose this portion of its record. There is no parallel instance of an oppressed race thus sustained by religious sentiment alone. These songs are but the vocal expression of the simplicity of their faith and the sublimity 
of their long resignation. End of chapter 9 Recording by FNH Visit www.bookranger.co.uk